Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and this is now question number three from the May June 2021 um, 0580 Cambridge paper two variant one IGCSE extended exam. Um, this question has been requested um, by one of the students. And this question here is about statistics about stem and leaf diagrams, which show the number of hours that each of 16 students studied last week. And they've given us a key for the stem and leaf diagram, which shows that the numbers before this line represent the tens, and the numbers after this line represents the units, because one stroke two means 12 hours. So this is the tens, this is units. So for example, this number here represents the number 27, for example. Okay, so now, We've got to find the median and then the mode and then the range of these um, of these entries here. So the median is the, the the number that's right in the middle when the um, when all the numbers are ordered in uh, you know or, or arranged in order of size. So we can see that these are ordered in 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 terms of their size. You start with twelve. You're getting bigger and bigger every time. This is these are the twenties, thirties, forties. So you can see that all the numbers are ordered in terms of their size so it's an ordered uh, stem and leaf diagram so all of these are in the right order starting from lowest to largest the lowest being 12 the largest being 47. now we got to find the number the median entry the median entry is a number or numbers are in the middle now when you have for example if i if i put some um, blocks here if i have say an odd number of blocks there's only going to be one of them that's in the middle but if I have an even number of blocks, okay, if there's an even number of blocks, then the middle term is going to be basically what's between these two terms. Okay, so whenever there's an odd number of entries, there's one number in the middle. Whenever there's an even number of entries, there are two numbers which are considered the middle number and halfway between them is the median. Okay, so here we have an even number of entries, so it's like this case. So we've got to look for the number uh, or the numbers that are in the the two numbers are in the middle and there's different ways of doing this many teachers use different methods i like to use a particular method where i say that the median term is going to be the term which is the number of terms divided by two okay which is 16 divided by two now if this comes out as a whole number like it does then it's going to be that number and the one after it so it's going to be the eighth and the ninth entry the eighth entry and the ninth entry those will be the two terms which I have to find what's in between them to give you the median. Okay, if there was an if if I did n divided by two and it gave me a decimal, then the next number up, the next term up would be the median term. Okay, so for example, if I ended up with uh, if there were seventeen terms, for example, instead of sixteen, I would have seventeen divided by two. That would give me eight eight point five. So it would be the ninth number that's in the middle, just one number in the middle. But when you have an even number of entries. All right, when you do that number divided by two, it gives you a whole number. So it's the, that number and the next number. So it's, it's between the eighth and the ninth term. Now, this, these don't tell us what the median is. They tell us where the median is. So we've got to look at the eighth and the ninth term. Now, the first four terms here are in that first row. And then the next five terms are in the second row. So that means the eighth term is 27 and the ninth term is 29 so the eighth term is 27 and the ninth term is 29 okay so that's the 20 that's the eighth and the ninth term halfway between them will be the median so the median is when you add them together and divide by two and we of course we can see halfway between them is going to be 28 so 28 is what you get when you um, add these together and divide by two and you can see quite clearly halfway between 27 and 28 29 is 28 exactly between them all right so that's how you find the median so you got to be careful if there's an even number of entries we take um you know the two middle terms which can be found by taking the number of entries dividing by two if it's a whole number result then you take that number and the, that term and the one after it if it's a decimal result you just take the term after it that's one way of doing it. There's other ways that teachers teach to do it. I prefer to use this way because it makes life easier when we're dealing with quartiles, which is not actually dealt with in this question, but you might find some examples at the end of the video when I have explained that in. Uh, you'll see the link for that in somewhere over in this region here. Um, you might see some videos de dealing with quartiles in the statistics playlist. But anyway, that, that's uh, something separate. So this is uh, one method of doing it. 
uh, finding the median. What you've got to be careful of is you have two terms that are in the middle and you've got nothing you've got to be careful of. This is not 7 and 9, this is 27 and 29. Okay, a lot of people make the mistake and just write, for example, 8 as the median where it's supposed to be 28 because this represents 27 and this represents 29 as shown in this stem and leaf diagram. Then we got to find the mode. Now, the mode is a lot easier to deal with. Um, basically, you just got to look for any repetitions of numbers and we can see there's a repetitions here. Okay, there's no other numbers that are repeated. Um, you know, they're all represented just one time. So the mode is 21. Okay, it's the most often repeated number. And then the range is simply the, la the largest number um, um, take away the smallest number. Okay, and you can see that the largest number is 47. And the smallest number is, as you can see, 12. So 47 minus 12, that gives you 35. So that is the range. Okay, so those are the answers to this question number three, which was requested by one of the students on the channel. Um, I hope that was clear. As I said, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of statistics um, can be found in the playlist that will appear somewhere over here. You can click on the link to that. And you can click on the link in the middle here to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you for watching and see you soon.